see-through nodes are a very important part of any room product and very powerful as it allows you to hide 3D meshes, for instance this wall, uh, from the back side. It may obstruct your room so you may want to turn it invisible from behind. To set up a see-through node in Blender you need to first add an armature and we'll move it up to the wall and the direction that dictates which way the see-through node is facing is if you go up here into pose mode you can rotate this so that the Z axis is facing into the room and the Y axis is facing up. It's currently set up like that uh, as is by default but if we wanted it against this wall instead we would have to rotate this 90 degrees this way so that Z faces into the room. Now that it's set up correctly, we can bring the armature as a child of skeleton.room by holding shift and clicking and dragging it under. And inside of the armature, there is a bone. This bone needs to be named C through 01 or 02 and so on and that will be what links the mesh to it. So now the mesh needs to be parented under the armature and then we need to add a vertex group. This vertex group tells each of the vertices on this mesh which armature to attach to. So if we add a vertex group and name it C through 01. Now this vertex group is attached to this bone. Last step, we need to add a modifier to the wall. It'll be an armature modifier. We'll select the armature that we made as well as C through 01. I did forget to set up the vertex group. We made the vertex group but now we need to go into edit mode and vertice selection, select every vertex on the mesh and click assign. Now we can check that it's set up correctly by clicking the deselect and select buttons. Now that it is, it is all set up, we can hit file and export as an FBX. I'll export it to see through test and I will export to Active Collection since everything is in my scene collection. Alternatively, you could select everything in your scene and export it as selected objects. So now that that is all good, we can export, go into Studio. I derived off of the empty room, or the example room, rather. We can import see through test and we can see that our meshes are being brought in and there's our wall. So now if we go behind our wall it goes invisible so we can still see into the room.